So let's run down and break it down exactly the mechanics of how you participate in Clan War Leagues as a clan. Now leaders and co-leaders get to select league participants and you can bring as many as you want as long as you bring at least 15. This being the developer build, we only did a 5v5 War League, but it will be 15 versus 15. You can bring 15 players, you can bring 20, 39, 41, or all 50 in your clan. It is like a baseball roster. Remember, lots of players on the team don't play every night, and that is exactly how Clan War Leagues will work. It will be a series of seven wars over eight days. We'll talk about exactly how that works in a moment. But here you go. We've been placed. The season has begun. And if you're wondering, how will you be placed the very first time? It is going to be based upon the strength of your top 15 players in your clan. Their army strength, base, defenses, and walls, that sort of thing, will calculate. Because clan war leagues are a ladder-based system. Remember, there's 18 different leagues, and you will be promoted or demoted as a clan based upon your performance each individual season. The clans that perform the best in your group will move up. The clans that perform the worst will move down. The rest will stay in the same division that they're in for the next season. All right, so it's just a straight ladder. There isn't anything else to it. There's no war weights. It doesn't have to do with town halls. It only has to do with wins or losses. The only part that has to do with town halls is that initial placement where your clan starts in the leagues when clan war leagues kick off for the very first time. Now taking a look at the user interface, you can move between the seven wars and see who you will be facing at the beginning of the season. But right there, an important reminder that each war is 24 hours and the prep for the following war is happening during the war you're in. So that's why a season is eight days long. That first war is 24 hours of prep followed by 24 hours of battle. But the second war's prep day occurs during the first war's battle day. So again, make sure you get in ahead and fill those clan castles for the successive wars. You can only fill during prep day. You can't fill for all seven wars at once. During the actual <laughs> wars, you can take a look at the leaderboards and see how you are doing opposed to the other seven clans in your group. And again, you see it is ranked by stars, and then there is also a total damage ranking to the right of that. Total damage amount for all of your players' attacks. And then rewards. You can see at the bottom of the screen, it shows that you're going to earn rewards not only for winning a war, but also just for an individual star. And as you get higher in the leagues, you get bigger rewards for wins and you get bigger rewards per star. And the good news is every single player on the roster will receive league medals, whether or not you even attack. We're going to go into depth about these league medals, how to get them, how many you get, and what you can spend them on at the end of this episode. I will show you guys the shop, and I'll try to answer every question you might have about League Medals, but for now, let's get back into the current developer build war and the roster right here. So I brought every member of my clan, only seven members. In a normal clan, obviously, you can bring up to 50. 15 will be able to participate in each war, but you can rotate members out, so everybody could foreseeably have a chance to attack. You can look at the upcoming wars, but you cannot change the rosters yet. So you can only change the roster when you see the little gear on war number one. So leaders, co-leaders can change the members using the blue button there right in the center. While you can see the future wars, you can see who you're matched up against. You will not be able to see their rosters or select your roster until that specific war is in prep day. So here we go. War number one is underway. Battle day has begun. Notice the gear is under war number two. That's because war number two is now in prep day. As the battles get underway, we're going to go over and check out war number two. We can see our lineup right now, the blue change members button. We can alter who is going to be playing for the team in war number two. And of course, we can fill those clan castles right now in the preparation day for war number two while we're getting ready to do our one and only battle of war number one. So we'll rejoin a battle underway. JV from We Love Teslas with a pretty fantastic end of a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 Hawk Rider 3 star. So as we watch this 
battle wrap up. Again, remember, you just have one attack. You can coordinate with your clan as to who you're going to attack. You're not forced to say if you're number 11 in the war, you're not forced to attack number 11 on the other side. But obviously, you're going to want every player to get an attack on a fresh base, most likely. Again, it's going to come down to strategy. Sometimes you'll have somebody drop to get that guaranteed three star, or you'll need somebody to attack up to try to grab the difficult two star to help keep your war competitive. So we fast forward to the end of war number one, and unfortunately we just get inched out 11 stars to nine, and here comes war number two. Two, as we fast forward again, looks like another heartbreaker, this time 13 stars to 10, and war number three, 